what we woke up to this morning. I tell you, we needed the snow so badly, and this is really a sheet of ice. If you look at the sidewalk and the street there, it's like a skating rink. I had to go out with a shovel and chop the ice um, to, to break it up so I could scrape it off. Uh, and then, of course, we got more snow um, after I took this. So it is cold. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki Marie, Living Life, and I wanna thank you for clicking on the link to this video today. So as you see, we got snow, and it's not done snowing. It's a, due to snow in probably another 10 minutes. We're expecting uh, more snow. I was gonna run out to the Dollar Tree today. I am so, well, I really wanna do some creative projects, and I wanted to go to the Dollar Tree, and I've been wanting to go to Hobby Lobby, and uh, I decided today's a good day to stay indoors and declutter. So I'm going to clean out my pantry. <laughs> so not quite as fun as going to the Dollar Tree, but maybe tomorrow I'll get to do that. So anyway, so today I'm going to be cleaning out my pantry. I'm going to do a, a time-lapsed video and I'll just be talking and playing music behind the scenes there. So uh, if you have some decluttering to do and you're snowed in like I am, uh, I hope that this motivates you just a little bit to get something done. And if not, then just enjoy the video and then go pop some popcorn and watch a movie. It would be a really good day for that too. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, so here we go, let's get rolling. Before I get started on the pantry today, I want to get outside and feed the birds and the squirrels. If you guys follow my channel, uh, then you know that I like to, uh, I have bird feeders in the backyard and I feed a little squirrel named Sammy and uh, a couple other squirrels that sort of come and go, but Sammy's the main one that likes to eat um, in my yard. So, <laughs> so here I am. Uh, filling up the bird feeders today. I have two bird feeders here and in the summertime I have about six, five or six hummingbird feeders, but I don't have those out of course now because they're they're all gone for the summer or for the winter. Uh, they'll be coming back around May. But I'm always looking for a good deal on squirrel food and bird feed. I think this last batch I did get at Walmart. I just do wild bird seed in the feeders, and for the squirrel, I give uh, the squirrel corn and peanuts and sun seeds and a variety. Uh, I know squirrels need a variety of food, and uh, so I try to just add a little bit of variety out there. And then, of course, the squirrel eats a lot of, of what it can get outside, too, the buds on the tree and things like that in the summer. I do love doing it though. Yes, it means I have to put my boots on and go out in this freezing cold weather, but it's so worth it. And then I have my coffee bar. I kept it up after Christmas, so. Okay, I've got my warm drink, and now we are going to get started <laughs> with uh, cleaning the pantry today. I'm going to go into time lapsed. So um, I'm going to just talk you through a little bit of what I did. So I did not really think out a plan when I began. I just first of all took everything out of the pantry. I've got my little table. I did pull it over closer to the pantry so I could work. Um, but I, I just took everything out of the pantry. I do love this cabinet. It does have the sort of swing out arm there and uh, I can put uh, my teas and all kinds of things, but it really got cluttered after Christmas. I have a habit of just putting things in quickly. I start uh, get into something and I don't always put things back in the exact spot that I got them. My daughter likes to remind me, Mom, put things back where you got them. And I'm trying to do better. So that's the first thing I did, is just pulled everything out of the cabinets. I have piles, so I have our supplements, teas. I don't have canned goods in here. I have another cabinet that I keep canned goods in, and I'll show you guys that when I, when I get around to decluttering that cabinet. It's just as bad. Mm -hmm. 
Next, when I get everything out, I wipe everything down. And I am using the Mrs. Meyer All-Purpose Cleaner, the Lemon uh, Verbena, I believe. Yeah, that's the, the scent. Um, I am looking forward to trying the Spearmint Scented Bathroom Cleaner, though. I think I'm gonna, I would like that scent better, uh, but that's what I'm using here. So I'm just wiping everything down. And then I have a little dust broom uh, there that I'm using to sweep the floor, the bottom. I do that last. And I just wipe down all of the um, cabinets. Uh, so you can see my little purple uh, broom. I'm sweeping all the cabinets up. And then uh, I'll just wipe those down with the all-purpose cleaner. It's amazing how things just get messy. <laughs> when the kids still lived at home, I always blamed the clutter on them, but I can't do that anymore. And just to show you how bad it gets, if you notice on the refrigerator, I still have the 2017 calendar for the Broncos there. Don't ask me why that's still up there. Honestly, I am filming this on January 22nd, 2019. <laughs> I know that because we just had the playoff games, the super or the playoff games where the Rams and um, New England are going to the Super Bowl in 2019. So how would I know that if it was 2017? I couldn't. <laughs> but I don't know why I have 2017 up there. But you'll notice uh, when I come back here in a bit, that will be missing. I will take that down. So I get everything on the floor uh, in a pile and I separate it out. Uh, and first, the first thing I do is I just put all of the sweets and granola bars and things like that together. Um, and then I have all the supplements together. Um, I separate it all into piles of like, kind of like items. Here's what I threw out, expired caramels, ex I mean, just expired things. But that's the next thing is I just empty, um, <clears throat> empty it out. I wipe it down. I separate it into piles and then I, I get rid of anything that's expired or that's opened uh, up and stale. So all of that gets thrown out and luckily tomorrow is trash day. And of course, next I'm just placing everything back inside uh, and I'm just kind of checking to see where it fits. Now I did get some, uh, I have some storage baskets. I placed those first to make sure that I fit, I could fit them. So I had a, uh, one storage basket where I put all of the bagged things like rice and noodles, anything that was in a, a little bag, uh, I put in one storage container, um, or not, it's, it's a, a bin, like a basket. And then I put, um, in, in the other storage container, I put, I have one for bread and um, any kind of bread items like uh, hot dog buns and things like that are in another basket. And I just decided to, I had some of my teas out uh, in a basket near my little, what I called my um, coffee bar. But I decided to just get them all more organized here. I've been buying more teas. The Yogi teas are my favorite right now. And I can fit them perfectly right here. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm just sort of playing around to see what fits where. Oh, and I did put all of our supplements in another basket. So, and our supplements, uh, Tylenol, anything like that just went in another basket and that I've set that in the shelf there and then I have the vitamins and things that we take on a regular basis I placed on this uh, shelf. As 
I said, I do have a separate cabinet that I use for um, canned goods, um, but I do keep the things I use most, like most often right here. Except that marshmallow cream there, that probably in those frostings, um, those will probably get moved eventually into my baking area. But that's for another video. And then I just wipe everything down on the outside. It feels so much better to get it all done. So that was today's video. I hope that, that you got some inspiration or motivation today. Uh, and if you did like my video, do please take a minute to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I am working up to 100 subscribers. I'm not even halfway there yet. So I may have a ways to go, uh, but I am going to do some sort of giveaway when I get to 100 subscribers. Uh, that might take a while, uh, but do, if you like my video, do, uh, do subscribe. And um, I really appreciate all the encouragement and the support for the work that I'm, I'm doing. I am learning as I go and there is a learning curve. So, uh, but thank you so much. I'm getting so many ideas from all of you other uh, YouTubers out there. And I wanna thank you guys all for that. So, all right. So I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.